I've just been feeling a little bit stagnant and like uninspired and not excited about being stuck around here lately. So I have decided to go on a bit of a road trip. I'm gonna go stay with some friends up on the Sunshine Coast. We're gonna work on a collaborative DIY project. Then I'm gonna go do some solo adventuring, sleeping in the back of my van, just getting away. Darcy's away on a trip with his dad as well. So we are both off doing our own things which I love doing like that's something I value in our relationship we love doing things together obviously but then I know we both like living our own lives and having our own hobbies and doing our own things so let's get in this car drive up the coast I've got to go to Bunnings and pick up some stuff for Jahan and my project this is going to be a bit more of like a vloggy fun style video moral of the adventure and then I will link the DIYs below which will be in a separate video so enjoy <laughs> second Bunnings because the first one didn't have everything I needed so that's fun but I forgot to film a little moment but I stopped into Mr. Consistent so they are a cocktail mocktail pre-mix business I use like all natural local ingredients and their mixes are so so good this I'm not sponsored to talk about it in this video but I do have some sponsored social media content coming up for them so I thought it might be cool to show you behind the scenes of how I create content for that this will be one of my first major sponsored Instagram posts which is really exciting yeah just something I wanted to talk about as well like I am getting to that point now where opportunities are coming my way I've obviously done sponsored YouTube videos it is a way to allow me to put more time and energy into this business and project or whatever you want to call it I'm very conscious of not just taking anything on and only aligning with products and businesses and services that fit my values and what I actually would use and what I genuinely think you guys would use as well I don't want to become a walking billboard so I'm very aware of that and I don't want to feed into that message as well that you always need new things or that you need to buy new stuff anyway let's go to Bunnings get our last thing and then I'm going to be driving to the sunny coast and catch up with my friend can't find anything Oh. oh, yeah, that's it. Perfect, thanks so much for that. You're welcome, <laughs> that helps. Have a good day. You too. Oh my gosh. Success. We have everything from the hardware store. Now it's time to drive to the sunny coast. Teach me how to use it. <laughs> so that do one. that now, yep. Ooh. Yep, and it should just loosen. See how it kind of just falls off. Oh, yeah. We want to cut there. Why I wasn't taught how to change a tire in high yeah, school. Cut so many tire. basic skills in life that aren't taught in school. I slept in the van last night just because I didn't want to be an inconvenience to my friend. They have kids. I don't want them setting up a room and washing sheets and doing all that stuff. Plus it's so cozy in here. It's like a little cute cabin. I totally forgot to film much yesterday, but essentially we just caught up because we haven't seen each other for a while. Started getting stuck into the first part of the DIY tables. And then we went out to dinner, had an epic Mexican feast with some margaritas. And here we are today, the big DIY day ahead. Jahan and myself both work for ourselves, so we spent a bit of the morning just putting some time into the admin side of our businesses. Then the absolute darling made me this gorgeous breakfast as she's the home cooking queen. Then once we'd down that, it was time to get stuck into the DIYs for the day. Maybe get your little toes out of the way. Oh, you don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't even have toenail polish on. Obviously, I'm not a graffiti artist. This might actually look really fucking cool. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. Your ring looks really nice. I love that ring. Is that your special one? I What's the them. story? Is it... They're both my grandma Grandmas. who passed away. Yeah. This one I lost at the beach and had to get That's a metal right. detector. And you got it. That's that was oh, fucked. Oh. I had to earn this one. <laughs> oh my god. The last one. The finale. Anyone who doesn't say Lefty Lucy Ray tight is a serial killer. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Do you reckon it needs more water if it's like not sticking? Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's bloody nice. That oh, so much better. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Welcome to the content farm. <laughs> oh my god, there's no coming back from this. 
it was such a lovely few days just hanging around Jahan's beautiful home and feeling so welcome and then also just having the time to finally catch up again and have a good laugh. Oh, that light is just glamorous. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, Do you I reckon? feel like I'm glowing. Hello, I'm back to the channel. Here with my friend, this bitch. <laughs> and <laughs> these nuts. These nuts, we're gonna make some stuff today. Maybe should we explain what s'more means? Should we spell it? S M O R. S'more. 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 <laughs> and also, I'm not good on tools, so that's why you. I'm like, you're yeah. my tool queen. Yeah. I don't know how to use that. I love a tool. Electric <laughs> tool. <laughs> Tonight, we have breaking news and we have won the Olympics. I got sweaty palms. I read that somewhere, it's really good to do that before you talk. You know what, life is pretty good when you can pull up with your van and make a little workspace with a view like that. These bags under my eyes are gnarly. This morning I'm just working on some graphic design client work and then When Jahan is back home in like an hour or two, I'll go meet her there and we can finish off the final content pieces for like the final unveil of the furniture. And then I'm also gonna shoot some of my Mr. Consistent stuff there because we both need to celebrate the big couple of days we've had of DIYing this furniture. And also it'll be a beautiful backdrop for the drinks on top of our new made tables. I also got up and watched the sunrise at Sunrise Beach and then went and got a coffee up at Noosa Junction. Oh my god, the name just totally slipped out of my mind, but I always love it there. It's so beautiful, such a nice vibe. And funny story, when I was there, I was, you know, making my order for my coffee to have in and I had my face mask on, so obviously half my face was covered up. And the girl who was serving me was like, I know you, like, like where do I know you from? I was like, I don't know, I don't think we've met before. And she's like, your voice sounds familiar. And then she recognized that she followed me on obviously the Essentials Club on YouTube and Instagram and had a full little lovely moment where she was complimenting what I was doing and it was a good reminder that what I'm doing is actually reaching out to people because I can get so stuck behind the screen sitting at home by myself sewing and making these videos so it made me feel inspired to keep going along this journey. So thank you whoever you were, I didn't catch your name but that really made my day. Time to do a bit of work and then go back to Jahan's beautiful house for the final time and then I'm going to venture off on my own this afternoon. If you ever need someone to shoot your food, your homewares, this is your gal. Sitting at Noosa National Park and my beautiful friend have made some pasta that I could take away with me. So I'm going to go enjoy that for dinner, watch the sunset and then go find a spot to pull the van up and have a little nap and wake up and do it all again tomorrow. It is time to go watch the sunrise. always been someone who enjoys getting up for sunrise. I feel like it's just such a beautiful way to start the day. For me personally, just sitting in the stillness and watching the sunrise just helps me appreciate the small things in life, which I think is really what I need at the moment.
that was so so lovely <clears throat> a little bit fresh but so good to get in the water to start the day and I lived off on the Sunshine Coast, we were just down the road from the Coolum Bay. So I feel like whenever I come back, I'm just gonna come back here for a swim. And if I don't, it doesn't feel right. But that was so lovely getting in the water. So I'm just gonna lay here out of the wind, do a little bit of work. And then I'm gonna go down to one of my favorite cafes around here, have a coffee and a little snack for brekkie, do some more work there. And then I'm gonna head down to Brisbane eventually today. Oh, it's so cozy. It's always so crazy going back to somewhere after a little break of not being here for a while. There's literally a whole new housing estate that's just popped up across the road from the cafe, which is wild. The guys who run this place are so lovely. They just recently had a little refurb and a rebrand and I'm so keen to check it out. If you're ever in Coulomb or on the Sunshine Coast, definitely check out Compound. It's the best. Also, there's some epic fruit toast next door, which I haven't had in so long. So I'm going to pick up some while I'm here. insecurities that we have that no one probably cares about or notices like I was boiling hot in this jacket in the cafe but because I have a few like pimply dots on my shoulders and I knew people would see it I wouldn't take my jacket off so therefore I was just overheating and working and caring too much about the possibility of someone judging me even though who gives a shit if I have a spot on my skin awareness is the first step to overcoming it that was so nice I ran into a friend who works there and I'll catch up with her. Now I'm gonna go find some public toilets. I'm gonna take my toothbrush and toothpaste and use the sink and brush my teeth because they feel feral. It's very hot. It's the middle of winter and it's like a very hot day. Like I could easily just be wearing a little dress right now. Ah, that was better. Radio. It is a final spot that I'm pulling up to. You can't really see but there's a cute little lookout over there where I'm going to write up my little sponsored post and post it. I know it sounds like such a pretentious thing to be talking about but I think it's worth celebrating the little things in life and also hopefully it's shown you that there's a lot more that goes into it rather than just posting one picture you've got to like do the liaising. Obviously if there's a payment agree on how you're getting paid. Get the product if you're shooting a physical product. Figure out how you're going to shoot it. Shoot it edit it, come up with a relevant caption, post it. It's very exciting. Time to write this, post this, and then I'm gonna get on the road and keep going. So the plan with Brisbane is I'm staying here for the night with my cousin. She took me for a little wander around West End. For some reason, there's so much like pathway herbs and fruit around where she lives. We checked out Open House, which is a small boutique supporting local designers and makers. I believe in particular that they stock indigenous suppliers, which is really cool. That's so smart. I love that. And then we walk down the road to one of my favorite secondhand shops, which is Swap, where people donate their clothes and get a small reimbursement of what the shop is able to resell it for. So all of this is pre-loved pieces. We then got a cocktail before we went and dined in at one of my cousin's favorite Mexican restaurants. And it was so delicious. Hi, Lee. Could I just get a butter for something? 